Did you ever see the movie The Wizard of Oz? Well, I'm kind of like the man behind the curtain, the wizard. I've kept my hands busy at the controls, performing spectacular feats all through my life. But they were all so very limited and ultimately far less important than I ever wanted them to be. I perceive myself as a superhero wannabe with no powers, living forced inside a secret identity and hiding behind the mask, doing what I thought I could but never really feeling able and ready to save the world. All those I met and observed, especially my friends and family, assured me endlessly that I was indeed confined, hopelessly, to that small place behind that curtain. I realized, though, in fact, I did have my small part in changing the world, even from that restrictive place. I saw changes and effects that I knew I had part in. And I thought to myself, if I could do that much behind that curtain with all those limitations, how much more could I do if I stepped out beyond the limits of what I thought I was confined to? We all have potential for real superpowers, but few realize it or know how to find them and use them effectively. In my case, though, something was truly unique. My unconscious focus actually shaped and helped define my conscious mentality. And without my initial realization, it empowered me to see that the curtain and the controls were not necessary any longer. And I didn't need them to gain a true type of superhero power. I had been developing it all along and didn't realize it. It was sort of like in those martial arts movies when you see the depiction of the early life of a struggling, lost, but honorably searching soul being portrayed who one day as tragedy looms imminent and it seems as if there's no hope suddenly exclaims, Wow! I know Kung Fu! Well, <laughs> it's kind of like that. One day I did just that. I realized, Wow! I have an extremely heightened and unique perceptive conscience. I developed it all through my artistic creativity and through the analytical manipulations that materialized into the extraordinarily unique perspectives for me that I gained through all the days of what I had done in my life. It developed naturally for me and was like a master artist in how he would manipulate the depictions of images and ideas on the canvas with his brush. Just like the wizard and the kung fu artists in the movies. I had come to see that I had real powerful abilities that I could offer through my unique life experience. I'd been so about my unconsciously developing conscious journey and heightened perceptions all through my life without my total awareness that one day it just overtook me by surprise. I realized I had abilities far beyond any I had ever dreamed of as a child, and I was vastly more effectively able to save and help those that were trapped than any fantasy superhero that I could ever hope to be. I then further realized that the power to save the world was in each and every one of us, not just me uniquely, but I did have the unique ability to realize it and to help others realize it was what my focus was going to be. We just can't find a way to find those powers in us and effectively utilize them. And that's our weakness. The weakness, as strange as it sounds, is nothing like a mysterious substance from a different planet far from us that could be take away our powers and leave us helpless. But it would eventually lead us to our own doom regardless. The weakness could be found inside each and every person who ever lived. It comes from our failure to recognize, accept, and admit to ourselves that we can know nothing for certain. And we're powerless to change that and help ourselves. The essence of everything that everyone in the entire world projects, both now and throughout all time, has been exactly what I was doing, as I was, and the Wizard of Oz was, from behind that curtain, projecting great and powerful illusions that were designed to convince ourselves and others that we were powerful 
and we had control of things. That is the matrix that we are all trapped in to some degree or another to release the need to feel that we can know for certain that comes from our heightened conscience is our best chance to make the most important choice that we have to make to answer the question what is the meaning of life? To come to the highest consciousness and make the most important choice. Will you keep believing the illusion that you can know what you believe for certain? Will you forever let that same delusion that almost all of mankind falls victim to guide your path? Come with me. Take the blue pill. Discover the real world and the real answers. They're not pretty. No one has control. No one knows anything for certain. You are completely vulnerable and in danger. You can overcome these things in spite of impossible odds and in spite of the overwhelming numbers of people choosing the other way in life. Do not continue to be blinded by the delusion that what you see must be real. It is all only an illusion that allows people to be distracted from their vulnerability and complete, utter desperation to feel empowerment over their helplessness. It is because of this that the delusion is perpetuated and so difficult to see past. The choice we have to make is to realize that and continue to perpetuate it or to step away from the curtain and the controls that we feel are our only way to operate and do what is very foreign and difficult for most people to comprehend and to do. And that is to realize that everything we see is a deception that comes from the ills of mankind's limited perspectives and insecurities. I can help you break through these barriers of perception by offering perspectives that few have. It's all about conscious perception. Nothing will change but the way you see things. And through that, change may come, not only to you, but to others. If you can come to see things as I have, the way they really are, then together we may be able to make the highest choice available. and reveal our true identities and quite possibly do our part to save the world. Come with me. I sincerely commit to you that I will be there for your journey so long as I can. <laughs>